Welcome to Jimidesm Total Nerdy Channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a torpedo launcher. Here I've set up a beautiful little simple AI. Because when we are launching torpedoes, the best way to detect stuff is basically, of course, to have one of these beautiful sonars which you can find under detection. We have directional sonars and a 360 sonar, which we will use for this particular build. And then we of course need a little receiver. So this you have um, somewhere on the bottom of your craft so it can see everywhere. And this is a pretty neat way to detect vessels. Because a sonar <laughs> can only detect vessels that are actually targetable with your torpedo. Anyways, we now can go into the Missiles tab. Inside the Missiles tab we have a lot of different sizes. We have small, medium and large. Often I prefer to make medium torpedoes, but in this case we are going to show large missiles to make torpedoes with just because they're kind of easier to see with. So let's click on the large missile. Here we can see the large missile launcher. So we're gonna build our little torpedo launcher right here. We're gonna have uh, two of them like this. Then we have the large gantry here. We can just then build a reasonable size. I think this will be some pretty decent heavy hitting torpedoes. Um, then we of course have some hatches if we want to. We can add some beautiful hatches like this. Wait, now oh, there we go. So we just spaced them out a little bit here. You of course you don't need hatches, but they offer some good protection so that your missiles don't pull, blow up inside, inside your craft basically. And they look kind of cool. So that's a good reason by itself. Alright, then we can go in here and we need something called connectors. We'll need to connect these launchers together with the control block which we will set up. Alright, then we have the missile controller. This is the like control block of these missiles. So now we have two big missiles here and we have beautiful gaps opening. Then we have identify friend or foe. Uh, whoops. We are not going to, we're going to use radar missiles, so we really want to have this uh, friend or foe identifier. If you want to make them launch a little bit after each other, you can add this staggered fire unit here and set it to some suitable value. I don't know, one second perhaps. Beautiful. All right. To be able for the AI to even control this thing, we go into AI again, we select a local weapon controller and we place it down right beside the missile controller or one block away, it doesn't really matter. That's the range they have. Just put a little receiver there and our AI is now controlling it. Now of course we're so close it kind of disturbs me that we don't are more that we are not more efficient so I just replaced this by a, a AI physical connector which is the same. Okay, no need to use a fail safe for this thing, like no need at all, just um, yeah. Missiles are a little bit special. We have the friend or foe is basically the failsafe here. Right. Might be needed in certain cases, but not in this case. Well, when we're talking about uh, missiles, that's basically most there is to it. What we can do here, of course, is we go into this beautiful thing and we are starting to set up our beautiful torpedo. The first thing we want to change is we want to have a torpedo propeller. Here you can change the speed of the torpedo. The default speed is pretty fine. Then we have fins to make it steer, which you will need. And of course you want to have a fuel tank. We'll have that there, doesn't matter. We have a utility here. There is something called regulator. This extends the lifetime of your torpedo and because torpedoes usually travel long distances you usually almost always need at least one regulator for it to not disappear before reaching the target. 
one fuel tank seems to be enough for most, um, you know, for this size of a uh, torpedo. If you have a smaller size, you might need several, but you know, you'll notice how long they reach. If they can't reach the target because they get, they run out of juice, you can try and uh, decrease the speed of it or you can add more fuel tanks. If it just disappears, you need more regulators. Right. Now, when we have that out of the out of the way, we're going to make something that makes it actually hit the target a lot more often, which is the little module called One Turn. I would always, always, always have One Turn on all of my torpedoes. It increases the chance of they actually aiming towards the enemy a lot. And we can also make this beautiful little special setting later. Right. Then we have Torpedo Warhead, uh, which we want one of those, but we also want something called, da -da 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 -da. where is it, Ballast Tank. On the Ballast Tank we can select a floating depth. Now most ships are kind of surface wise, so let's select this to less than 10. I usually keep them to around 5 and 6, but let, let us keep a... Uh, 10 meter floating depth on this one. We don't need to set up any else. We have free internal space. We can change this to fuel for more fuel, reinforcement, better health. Uh, but we want to have high explosive because that's more fun. Now there are different, of course, uh, you can have um, fragmentation warhead or EMP, but I find it that explosive does most damage. Also, when we are hitting the target around 5 meters underwater, we actually get an increased damage bonus because the explosion takes place a little bit under the water. Right, and to be able to hit our enemies, we want something called the da -da 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 -da. torpedo sonar, of course. Now, that's nice and all. If we would have some more space, you could add a sonar target simulator. Um, and that's basically a thing just for fun that you could add to make other torpedoes that are using torpedo sonar to target your torpedo instead of your ship. Pretty useful. Anyways, here we have some different component uh, editors. And when you're shooting a warhead from a ship, there is a little small chance that it will accidentally hit a part of the ship. So let's set the warhead arming delay to around 4 seconds at least. Beautiful. Right, to make our torpedoes have a beautiful little spurt out of the ship or submarine, we can add a couple of missile ejectors. So basically they will get ejected and turn towards the enemy and then they will speed off. And after a few seconds it's armed and ready to go. Lords. There we go. It wasn't aligned. Right, now we just have some beautiful settings to check out here. Here on our local weapon controller we can set a range bracket and altitude bracket. Of course, uh, I'm gonna set the altitude bracket, so if something is, say, 9 meters up in the air, there is probably absolutely no chance the torpedoes can even reach it. So let's set this to minus, <laughs> minus 50 to uh, 9, basically. And you could uh, add some other, um, yeah, some special um, rules there if you want to, but that's basically the base rule. Don't target things that are very high above water. Right, and then inside the missile controller, we also have some beautiful settings on Q. Here we have required accuracy before fire. Set this to 180 because we have one turn installed. It should be completely fine. Yep, there we have it basically. Uh, if you want your torpedoes to only fire uh, when you're facing the enemy, you can set up some limitations using enable extra constraints here. Uh, but then you don't need one turn if you make a torpedo like that. But with one turn, we don't need to care about the angle from where we're firing, which is the handy thing. Fantastic. Now, missiles, as all other torpedoes, they take a lot of resources, so... Uh, Make sure you actually have some ammo storages here. That's more than enough. Beautiful. 
and this should actually be our torpedo. So let us check out our character, make sure we're not controlling any weapons, we can just stand above here. And well, um, let's spawn a little ship and see what we can do. Beautiful. Oh, yes, I forgot that beautiful little uh, piece here. Now, when you are setting up your torpedo, you need to click this little copy all matching launch pads. Then this will automatically turn into the same setting. If you have different missile controllers, what you need to do is you go here and you just save this as torpedo high explosive, just like that, or make a new slot and make that save. And then when you go into another missile controller, you can basically just load it from here with the uh, load, like this one, like that. Yep, and it is as simple as that. You Unfortunately, you can't use Control C, Control V, because if you do, you only actually copy one of these. So you actually need to use the save load feature uh, to copy to other controllers. Otherwise, you can just click copy to all matching launch pads. Now, uh, it did take out our enemy, so we need to spawn a new one since it's already dead. Look, they are opening. And they're fired out. And we get a one turn. So let's stalk our torpedo here through the waters and it's heading upwards and boom the entire thing has blown up. Beautiful it works pretty well now of course we use large torpedoes so they're really powerful uh, but let's spawn a marauder so we can get some more meat to work with. Holy shit. How long time to reload? Three seconds. Oh lords, so well if that hits, we are potentially ooh, lucky. Lucky. Okay. Torpedoes. Beautiful. One of them actually missed, unfortunately, that happens. But uh, that was a nice little hit there. We can see we actually almost took on its main gun. Um yeah, now of course, uh, oh, we didn't die, but our entire construction died. So, I mean, what do you do? What do you do? Anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed this little beautiful uh, torpedo tutorial, and uh, may it be useful for taking out your enemies. Um, now, the Marauder has a heavy main gun, and we are completely obliterated, but, uh, you know... <laughs> So uh, we had a little hatch of the torpedo and that kind of implies that you need to protect the sides of the torpedo with some kind of armor like metal so it doesn't blow up. Because if a torpedo with high explosive gets shot at when it's inside your ship it will actually blow up a little bit and you will get some damage and stuff and that's not very nice. So uh, make sure to protect your little missiles and ammo boxes. Think of the missiles as a potential ammo box, <laughs> because when it's loaded, it basically, it basically is that. Yeah, well anyways, that's how to make some beautiful torpedoes. Have fun and uh, pro tip, if you make small torpedoes, you can add, add a lot of fun modules and you can just make a system that absolutely spams out torpedoes. Pretty cool. Anyways, thanks for watching, Jim Total on channel, signing out.